morning, good morning. Uh, give me one more second here. Just still getting some details. You know, always, always, always. Hi friends, how is everybody? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so gotta get the water going there. So a little hydration. Hi friends, hello, good morning, happy Saturday. Uh, let's see, hi guys. Looking at the, oh, how do I get rid of all that so I can see the chat? Oh, there we go. Hello, welcome, welcome. Let's see who we have. Hi, Carol and Gerda. Hi, Gerda. Gerda, yes, a li little bit new. Gerda, you are a little bit new. Um, Janelle, hi, Janelle. Hi, Terry. Um, okay, guys, welcome. Uh, if we haven't met before, welcome, welcome. Well, welcome to anyone. But if we haven't met before, then especially welcome to you. Uh, my name is Lael Konkar, and I have a business called Lael by Mail. We get together on Saturdays when I'm not traveling here on my YouTube channel, and we do what I like to call creative listing. So we make lists. Um, usually a couple days before on Thursdays, I will publish our list topics, and those are on my blog. Um, I post on social media with links to my blog. I send out an email uh, with links to the blog. But basically, the blog is everywhere that you'll find um, all of our information for Saturdays. So our list topics... Um, products I'll be using, different things like that. Uh, blog is on my website at layallbymail.com. As we get going, I um, will use lots of different products. And I just kind of, a lot of times, it's just whatever is um, giving me like mo mojo, right? I'm just thinking mojo, mojo, yeah. Um, whatever inspires me, okay? So things that inspire me, and that's what I use. Uh, and we learn together. A lot of times I'm using new product, maybe new to me, a new collection to me, or sometimes I'm trying a different technique that I may not have tried before, so tried before. So we learn together. Uh, sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't. When they don't work out, we talk about why they didn't work out or why I changed my mind or why I did something um, this way instead of that way. So um, we all kind of learn together. Uh, one of my favorite parts about what we do though is a lot of times you guys will make suggestions to me. What if you tried this? What if you tried this? Or I'll say, I'm trying to decide which color ink should I use? And you guys, you know, chime in. So anyhow, that is what we do here on Saturdays. Uh, when we're not together on Saturdays, I do lots of different things, but um, a website, as I mentioned, lay all by mail, and I have all kinds of project kits on there. So Traveler's Notebook project kits, um, mini book project kits, um, primarily those two things, um, and lots of product that goes with all of those things. So like I said, a lot of the product you'll see me use, I have links to in the description box um, of the video down below. So if I'm using something and you're like, oh, what is that? Uh, chances are you will see that linked in the description box of the video, and I have it on my website. Um, couple quick announcements. We will not be together next Saturday. So next Saturday would be Saturday the 30th. Uh, Nick and I will be out of town in Seattle. Uh, and I always have to say this, but because I know you guys worry, when I say that we're going to be out of town, our um, son Sam comes and house sits for us. So the house is not empty. Um, so we will not be together on Saturday, April 30th. We will, however, be together on Saturday, May 7th. I think it's the 7th, right? 6th? I don't know. Whatever the first Saturday is in May. Um, if you did not know, first Saturday in May every year is International Scrapbooking Day, International Scrapbook Day. And that has been going on for a long time. Uh, but it's kind of a day that we in the community, you guys are part of the community, uh, we um, celebrate. So we will be doing one of our all day sessions here on Saturday on YouTube. Uh, we'll be doing some listing. We will also be doing some memory keeping. I will be doing memory keeping in uh, a couple of different my traveler's notebooks. One is a little A6 size, a small one, and then a big one. Uh, so we'll be kind of mixing those two things and I'll have lots of fun prizes and a really fun sale going on that day. Um, not on new product though. <laughs> uh, anyhow, so that's the plan. Uh, one last little housekeep item, house, housekeeping item before we get going. Uh, we will be ending today at ooh, 1130 Pacific. Uh, Nick and I are headed out of town as soon as we are done. Um, we decided kind of at the last minute to um, jump in our RV and we are going to um, go to Southern Utah for a couple of days. It's snowing here. It's snowing today, which I don't know, April what? April 23rd? Today's the 23rd. It's not supposed to snow in April. Although if you're in Utah, it's supposed to snow in April just because that's what it does. 
Um, it rained all day yesterday, like cats and dogs all day, which is really, really good because we are um, predicting a huge, huge drought here in Utah. So that's good. Um, so I can't complain, but we can try to drive south to get out of uh, at least the coldish weather a little bit. All right, so hi, Ijeoma, nice to see you. I just happened to look up and I saw you. Cindy and Carol and Celia. Uh, Sandy, oh, there's lots of S's and C's, C, C, C. Um, yes, May 7th, we will have a very fun day. Yes, um, Susan, another Harvey road trip. Harvey is our the name for our RV. And um, that is a little bit of the memory keeping that I will be doing when we're together uh, on our all day session on the first Saturday in May. Um, so you kind of see how I uh, do some memory keeping around our little RV trips or road trips or trip trips. I have a lot of trips to do. Uh, two road trips in Harvey. Uh, Nick and I will were in Nashville a couple weeks ago, so I need to document that one. Uh, we'll be going to Seattle next weekend, so I'll be documenting that one. And oh gosh, of course, my um, my out the window documenting uh, that I like to do too when I take photos out of the airplane window. So a lot of my documenting or memory keeping that I'll be doing here on National Scrapbook Day will be related to travel just because it's a big part of my life. Okay, friends. Um. Oh... Let's see, what's going on with Colleen? Oh, Colleen, your hubby's birthday was on Wednesday. And it, it, I, it probably, since there are people that maybe won't understand, because normally that would not, you know, seem to be a bad thing, but Colleen's husband passed away um, earlier this year, right? I think towards the beginning of the year. Yes, very sad. Um, anyhow, uh... All right, friends, so the last thing I should say is you'll see me kind of talking to some people and commenting. Um, there is a live chat that takes place. So if you are watching live, there's a live chat that takes place oh, well on the right-hand side of my screen. Um, but I encourage you guys, if you're new or if you kind of lurk and sometimes just, you know, or you're on your own, just pop in and say hi. Say hi. Um, maybe tell people your name or where you're from, or even if you just say, hi, I'm a newbie. Uh, there are lots of you out there, and I know that sometimes you're just not comfortable with, you know, chatting or, or chiming in, but super, super, super wonderful, loving, um, helpful community. So um, pop in. And those of you that watch the replay, there's tons of you. And so welcome to you too. I always talk about welcome and I chat with all of those people that are live, but welcome to you um, as well that are watching the replay. Okay, friends, I am going to flip the camera and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, here we go. Oh, I should also mention since I'm just um, in comfy car clothes, uh, so yeah. Not that that matters, but yeah. I'm in comfy car clothes today because we'll have about, I don't know, maybe four hour drive-ish, and so you gotta be comfy. Okay, so let's go ahead. I flipped that. Let me plug in, Colleen. I'm ahead of you one step, plug it in. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, this is what I love so much about this place. Everyone is, um, everyone's so kind and considerate and um, just wishing Colleen well. So, yes. Um, hi, Ashley. Nice to catch, how nice for you to catch us live. Please say, yes, we are a fun and safe place. A very, very safe place. I know that sounds odd, but we're a safe place. Um, all right, let's go ahead. If we can do this we're gonna try without the um without the overhead lights today the studio lights just because it gets a little bit um toasty don hi don i recognize your name i think um but yes glad to be joining live for the first time all right guys um i do giveaways every week when we are together so um the way that i do the giveaways uh, I usually will pick one of our list topics from that week and I ask you to leave me a comment on the video once the video is over. So not in the chat, but on the video when it is over so it gives everyone an opportunity, whether you're watching live or watching the replay, uh, to leave me a comment telling me what would one of the things be on that's on your list. Even if you're not listing with us, just mentally what would be one of the things on your list. So we did that last week and um, last week, I asked you to tell me one of our list topics last week was simple joys. So I just asked you to tell me what was one of the simple joys that would be on your list. And so fun to read, just so many great things. It's fun. A lot of you mentioned things involving your pets, but I have to say my very favorite, and I don't know if she's on um, today or not, uh, but Judith, Judith K, 
uh, said that when her husband mows the lawn, he always comes in from outside and brings her a little flower that he picked. Um, and in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, there's probably the, just the sweetest little dandelion. Just, oh, that, that was so sweet. So, um, and and I, um, I just pick random. Uh, so I'll just uh, pick up, I bring up all the comments and then I just stop at a random one and pick a random one. So the random winner for last week is Christina Halliburton. And Christina wins my brand new set of bullets and more stamps and then also the stamping stylus. So you guys will see me use both of those today. Okay, um, let's take a quick look at the list that we did last week. So if you are new or if you haven't been with me for a little while, do not be um, do not be worried about the state of my traveler's notebook insert here. Uh, I took it apart. I will never do this again. <laughs> I took it apart. Gosh, when we were last together for um, a full day, so I could show you guys how um, I stitch my traveler's notebooks inserts back together when I'm done. So I basically deconstruct them and then hi Kay. Yes, that's so sweet. Um, I take them apart and then put a new cover on and kind of stitch them all back together. And I do that just because, um, well, I'm gonna, I'm, I will have a video on that. I just have to finish this guy first, but basically this is what I do. So I take um, the cover off and then I restitch back together. So I cover with a piece of pattern paper and then restitch back together. So I had started showing that process, but the problem was, um, I was only about halfway through my insert. And so I cannot complete that process. I can't, you know, recover until I'm all the way done with the insert. So, um, <laughs> Terry, don't be scared. Terry said, Lael, did you say that you're headed out of town in Harvey? Don't we have a class on Monday night? Yes and yes. Headed out of, um, out of town this afternoon, but I will be back on Monday night for our Celebrate Today class. Those of you that... Um, that did that. So don't worry. Um, I'll probably have a ball cap on again, um, but that's no worries. Okay. So last week we did three, di three lists last week. We got through about two and a half of them. So um, one of those lists we will continue as our first list today. But one of our lists last week was Simple Joys. And we just had so much fun with this. And what I love about what we all do here together, guys, um, what I love about what we do here together is that as, as I'm listing, you guys are chiming in. So for example, on our Simple Joys list, I was listing and you guys were chiming in on some of the things that would be on your list. And that's always just so fun to hear because I feel like you guys, sorry, I need to, I'm going to plug the lights in. Um, I feel like you guys know me really well, right? Because I just talk and talk and talk. So you know lots about me. But in a lot of cases, I don't know a lot about you. So I love that um, I can kind of get to know you guys a little bit more as you're chiming in when we're listing. So that was a simple choice list. And that, hold on, still plugging in. Uh, that one, I used products from uh, Kid at Heart. <clears throat> and it's such just a fun fun, 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 whimsical, kind of happy-go-lucky collection. So that was Simple Joys. Um, okay, so then, hmm, this one. So this one we did kind of a then and now, like uh, the way that we used to do things versus the way that we do things now. Uh, I used, oh, love this collection. Uh, Let's Get Crafty. The Let's Get Crafty collection here uh, was so fun. Did a little bit of stamping. Um, we still have to finish this list, so I'll get this done at some point uh, before, we're, before we're together again. Um, and then our third list, which is the one that we're going to pick up with today, was this guy. You know you're hungry when. <laughs> you know you're hungry when. So I can't remember if this was a suggestion from maybe one of you. Uh, I love it when you guys give list suggestions. In fact, two... Um, the next two lists that we're doing today just so happen to be list suggestions from you guys. So, all right, um, you know you're hungry when. So I had started out, and we're just going to kind of move some of these things off to the side a little bit because this is what I'll use next. Um, I had been using the uh, Life Right Now collection from Pink Fresh. So I pulled a paper, so some of the 12 by 12 paper and use that as a background. I loved kind of the pink and orange together. So that was kind of the, the, the groove that we're going with here. Um, I used the Florence 
I need to scroll. Oh, you know what, Julie, I can make that happen very easily. Like I can make that happen. Probably not this weekend because, um, because I'm leaving town as soon as we're done, but uh, it's really easy for me to make that happen uh, through a service that I use. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'll make that happen early next week. So those of you that like to wear um, ball caps, and actually I do too, um, yes, uh, I can see that now, Terry. Lael, there's some confusion about this morning's giveaway. Um, Judith, I just happened to mention that I read your comment um, about your husband picking you a flower. Uh, so that was not the giveaway. Someone else won the giveaway. Um, but I'll add a little something fun to your next order. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> we're, we're in like major squirrel mode today, you guys, but that's okay. Um, all right. So I had used the Florence Alpha stickers and we've talked about these a number of times, right? So Florence Alpha stickers, these are from Bella Boulevard. Um, I love this font. This font is just a really fun, whimsical kind of mixture of upper and lower case. So that is what I use for my title. Uh, Stephanie Smokovich owns Bella Boulevard. Well, um, Doodlebug now owns Bella Boulevard, but uh, Stephanie started Bella Boulevard and is still very involved and does all the product design for Bella. And so uh, I had mentioned that when I had used these stickers, and again, they're called Florence, um, I we were doing a list and I said something about the Brady Bunch. She said, that, that kind of reminds me of the Brady Bunch. And somebody said, Brady Bunch, Florence. Well, maybe that's why she named those stickers Florence because the Brady Bunch, because Florence Henderson is the mom on uh, Brady Bunch. So I finally reached out to Stephanie this week and said, hey Steph, question for you. I love the Florence stickers. Um, this has come up a couple times. Did you name after the Brady Bunch? And she said, oh my gosh, love that story, but no. Uh, she said, I love Italy. I studied abroad in Italy. And so um, she said, that's where the name Florence came from. So now we know. Okay. Um, oh yeah, you guys are talking so much about ball caps. I don't know why. I, that's easy for me to do. So uh, we'll do ball caps. Okay, so... Uh, you know you're hungry when, and I had done a little bit of decorating, but I had kind of stopped just because we ran out of time. I think I had to go last weekend too. Oh, I did because it was Easter and we were getting together with Nick's family. So, hmm, these are the, I see something in here that could be kind of fun. These are the die cuts, um, the ephemera from uh, Life Right Now. And, ooh, that's a good one. I need to work that into my memory keeping road trip. Um, life is hard, caffeine helps. Uh, life right now. Oh yes, uh, what we kind of talked about a little bit last week, I'm just looking for one of the little uh, things that I saw that would be fun to use. Um, Pink Fresh, their collections are fun because they are really pretty neutral. I mean, you have Let's Go on an Adventure, you have Feeling Out of Sorts, you have this kind of take it easy, chill out. So they're just really good um, pieces to work into a lot of your different uh, lists or memory keeping projects, uh, planners, whatever it is. Oh, here it is. This is the one I was looking for that I thought might be kind of fun because this has to do with being hungry, right? It has food on it. No, we don't always have to take things literally, okay? So just because we're doing a list about hungry doesn't mean that we have to use pieces that have food on them, right? Stickers or die cuts or what have you, but it's kind of fun if I have them. So I think what we'll do is maybe we'll take this little guy and put it, instead of this guy, instead of ice cream solves everything, although it does, right? Ice cream solves everything. All right, so maybe let's do this little guy right here. We'll just put that right there. I am working I'm outside of my Traveler's Notebook insert right now. Normally I, well, I guess I shouldn't say normally I don't do that. Um, a lot of times I will start doing that as I get to the end of an insert just because um, it's a lot easier to work on a flat surface and then go ahead and adhere that back into my insert when I'm done. All right, so let's put this guy right here. Now I feel like we need a little bit of, we need something to go down here, right? We need a little something to go in here. 
uh, on my list from last week. I don't have that many things. So, um, do, 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 do. Oh, maybe this could work in. Oh, yeah, that's good. So that is my... Um, that is my classic ruler washi tape. So I have three different uh, ruler washi tapes that I released, or had designed, I guess I should say, and then released. Uh, we have the classic, we have the blush, and we have the navy. So I think we can make this guy go right there. So I just kind of filled in a little bit of space. Do you see that it was kind of that big open space? So I just am using a little bit of washi to fill that in and I wanna rip that a little bit more. There we go, so it doesn't quite go as far across. Okay, so I think now I'm probably ready to start doing my list and then I can fill in with a couple more pieces um, as needed. But let's go ahead and put these back in their little package. Um, just looked up Teresa. Hi, Teresa from work. Beach gal after this week, she will have completed her first insert. Way to go, that's awesome. Hi, Dandy. Uh, all right. Uh, Terry said, have you all seen the meme? I don't have ducks or a row, I have squirrels and they are everywhere. Yes, um, it's funny. I have um, lots of squirrel things from you guys. Uh, and I uh, downstairs where I, I pack orders, um, I have um, cards and different things like that that you guys have sent me with squirrels hung up. Um, but I have socks, I have shirts, it's so fun. Um, but I love that. Don't have squirrels and ducks in a row. Um, I love it too that you guys uh, like to um, oh post memes about squirrels in the Lail by Mail Facebook group. That is a fun. That's fun too. All right, so let's start our list. You know you're hungry when. And now, what do I want to do? Do I want to? We'll use a bullet stamp because that's why I designed them. Oopsie, one just popped off. All right, so here we go. You know you're hungry when, and we're gonna use a bullet stamp because I'll just do my kind of bullets right along here. And which one do we want to use? How about, let me bring that up so you guys can see those a little bit more. Um, how about, what if we did, we're gonna do the just the solid circle, I think. We'll do the solid circle, or we could do, hmm, you know what, maybe check mark. Let's do check mark. All right, so put that up to the side. I'm going to see if this little guy, the check mark, will fit on the stylus. Um, oh, it does. There we go. Check marks fitting on the stylus. All right, so now I need to see what color I want to use. You know what I thinking maybe one of these, if I pull in a little bit of green, then that might just add a little bit more color, right? I have a little green there, a little green there, but I also don't want it to look like Christmas, right? You guys, the snowflakes outside are probably, I don't know, they're maybe like nickel-sized snowflakes outside. It's so insane. All right, so I'm bringing out my swatches. These are my, ooh, cracked pistachio could be kind of fun, right? Because it's kind of in that little color down there. And then I don't think it would look too much like, um, I don't think it would look too much like Christmas. So cracked pistachio could work. Mowed lawn is not quite right. These are just, ooh, evergreen bow, but I mean, really, evergreen bow goes really well. But I, that, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. I think cracked pistachio could be fun. Uh, these are my ink swatches. I have lots and lots and lots of Distress Oxide inks. That's kind of my thing. I love to, um, I love to use Distress Oxides in my stamping. Uh, I am just, which one did I say? Oh, okay, so look, here's a tip. Uh, if you are, if you are swatching your inks, and this is um, made using my Swatch This Inks uh, stamp set, um, but if you're swatching your inks, I recommend that you then organize your inks in the same order that you have them swatched. Uh, Debbie, yes, um, this is called uh, Swatch This Inks, and it looks like that, that stamp set. So that you'll see on my website. It's called Swatch This Dash Inks because it is one of three 
uh, so far, swatch this uh, stamps that I will have. The second one is in the final stages of design right now. Uh, so you can watch for that to come. Mm, I'm gonna say probably about a month. Uh, final stages of design, then I receive samples and then have to test them all to make sure they're okay. And then once they're okay, then we go into production or make any changes if we need to make any changes. Um, I need to pull, I'm changing my mind. I'm going to this little guy. I wanna do just that plain little circle. All right, so take this guy off. That was the check mark. Um, I'm gonna take the check mark off and we'll go with just the plain little circle. All right, stamping stylus. Uh, that is what this little tool is. This is a tool that we invented. We, and when I say we, uh, collectively, I mean, um, we did together. Uh, LaVon, LaVon, LaVon Wood, I believe LaVon, and Sarah Foss. Uh, LaVon taught me in one of our Saturday sessions through the chat that if you take a small stamp and put it on the end of a pen or pencil, it makes it very easy to stamp with. And then a couple weeks later, uh, I was doing that, and Sarah Foss said, hey, what if you had a tool called a stamping stylus. And I said, ooh, I think I can make that happen. And there you go. That is a little stamping stylus that I have on my website. This is why it's so handy. Because I have a little tiny um, stamp like that that I am going to repeatedly stamp, right? I will stamp and then I will, um, I will stamp and then I will write. And then I will stamp and I will write. See, look at that. And when you do that, you have to make that noise, okay? Doop, 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 there we go. So let's look and see now, do we think that? Ooh, now that I see that color, um, it's just not quite, color's not quite right. All right, so we're going to switch gears. We're not going to do that color. I think we might switch gear to a blue. Speckled egg. Well, speckled egg is interesting. It's kind of a greenish blue. Tumbled glass. Speckled egg or tumbled glass, I'm thinking. But this is why it's super helpful to swatch your inks because look at how different. This is like super, super green, and then it looks really different there. I mean, it's close, but it's different. So I'm a big fan of doing that. All right, uh, speckled egg, and what else did I say? I don't remember now. Hang on. Uh, da, 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 speckled egg. So every time I stamp, um, I get lots of questions about distress oxides versus distress inks um, because there is a difference. I typically use, well, almost exclusively use distress oxides versus a distress ink. Both um, Ranger products, Tim Holtz. Um, oh yeah, I think that one's gonna be better. See that? I think that will just go a little bit better. Okay, uh, well, let's look one more time. Let's look at tumbled glass and see what that gives us. Tumbled, oh yeah, tumbled glass. We're going with tumbled glass. Tumbled glass is just a little bit brighter. It's not as muted. Okay, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Is it, Colleen? I didn't know. Colleen said booping sound is a Kathy Z thing. I had no idea. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I don't know. I missed something. Oh, so here's a little hint. Uh, Kathy said need more details. Dora said need more details. How will it be different? Well, this is for swatching inks. Uh, the other two stamp sets will be for swatching other things besides inks. So let your imagination run wild there. Uh, okay, other things that we might need to swatch or know the color of, okay? Or design of. All right, here we go. Here's our first one. There's our first little duck. You know you're hungry when. So tell me, how do you know you're hungry? How do you know you are hungry? Um, uh, here's one standing at the fridge, 
staring at what's inside, okay? I know I'm hungry if I just sit there. I'm standing in front of the fridge. Uh, it's Sarah, Sarah Foss. Well, you guys might want to look. I, I better just tell you because those of you that aren't watching live, um, Sarah has no, honestly, Sarah has no idea. Sarah and I have never had a conversation about this, but Sarah nailed both of them dead on. Uh, one, the next set that you will see in May will be for swatching your washi tape. Oh my gosh, just wait till you guys see. So fun, so cute. And the third one will be swatching your colored pencils or pens or markers or what have you. So that is, Sarah, that is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Oh, Judith, a headache. Yes, getting a headache, right? Which is funny. I don't know. I didn't even add headache to my list. <laughs> I've had a migraine going on three days, so headache in my world is kind of all the time. But yes, a lot of times, if I don't have a headache, then um, I get a headache because I'm hungry. All right, standing at the fridge, staring what's inside. That's one of the things I do. Um, when, this is another one. When the food in the back of the pantry starts to look good, Right? Anyone with me? Or you're rummaging, like in the back of the pantry, you're like, is there anything back here that I hid? Or is there anything back here that I, I, I overlooked that might be good? All right, when the food in the back of the pantry starts to look good. Uh, another thing on my list, Terry, hangry. Yes, when I get hangry. Hangry is a combination between the word hunger and angry. Hangry. Uh, when I get hangry, um, I get hangry, right? Oops, hangry. I kind of got a little bit of something else in there that's kind of funny when I get hangry. Oh, I know what could be kind of fun. I am going to get another stamp from the uh, Bullets and More stamp set. But on this one, I need to get out a, another stamping block because... Um, this stamp is a little bit bigger. It will not fit on the end of the stylus. I'm gonna do this little smiley face. It's one of my hand-drawn smiley faces. Now, I could just draw my own smiley face, but not if I want it in the same color, right? And I would like that to be in the same color. So, uh, I haven't used this stamp set, or this stamp yet. I always suggest that you prime your stamp before you use it if you have not used it before. Uh, priming will take off a very, very, very thin, and this is any photopolymer stamp. Oops, don't wanna press so hard. See what I did? When I pressed that hard, I really, um, I really kind of made the uh, left edge of the smile like way pronounced. So when you have a stamp that you're using that is pretty uh, detailed, be careful with the amount of pressure that you apply because it will um, tend to flatten out or spread part of that image. All right, let me go back to wanting to, see, there we go. Look at the difference between that. I'm gonna, let me do this again and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so different pressure applied. That is when I apply very little pressure and that one is when I apply up goodness words. This is when I apply a lot of pressure, okay? And sometimes if you don't apply a lot of pressure evenly, then you get it totally lopsided. So just be kind of aware of that. All right, so we were talking about priming our stamps. Uh, all photopolymer stamps, those are kind of the clear ones that you pretty much only see me use. I mean, are the ones that, the only ones I use. A lot of people use photopolymer stamps. Um, they have a very, not noticeable, you can't see it um, with the naked eye, uh, but they're cute. Our little smiley face, I get hangry. Or I guess the other thing I could have done, there is also a frowny face. I could have put the frowny face there. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you prime it first, you um, will get off that really thin little layer of, um, uh, that thin little layer that is on the photopolymer stamps. Uh, you can, press it on your sleeve, you can press it on your pants, you can put it on a like a lint-free cloth, whatever it is, but I usually just like to stamp with it first. That will get off that little layer. 
Um, the other thing though, especially if you're spelling words, always a good idea to test stamp first. And that's what you guys always see me do. Always test stamp first to make sure that things are spelled correctly, that they're lined up straight. Um, and then you kind of like the way it looks and you like the color. All right, I get hangry. Next up, what else? What else makes you guys, uh, how do you know when you're hungry? Not, not what makes you hungry, how do you know when you're hungry? Everything looks good, you get hangry, you're staring in the, in, the, in the refrigerator or the back of the pantry, hoping that something really wonderful will appear. Uh, let's see what else is on my list. Um, oh, I know, I get lightheaded. I get lightheaded, and I'm pretty sure getting lightheaded, that's like a blood sugar thing. I'll get shaky and lightheaded. Oh, darn it, guess what I did? Some of you probably saw that coming from a mile away. Speckled egg, that's not the color that we're using. <laughs> Oopsie, oh well. Um, wonder if I can try to fix that. It'll probably just make a mess if I try to go over it, but we, we can try. Oh, now it's just kind of muted. Oh well, um, okay. Oh yes, lightheaded. Um, I get shaky and lightheaded. Another one. Oh. I get shaky and like head lightheaded. Um, oh, this is a horrible one. Uh, Jody, Jody said I could cover that up with white tape. So I could cover that up with white tape. I could also use my little white gel pen. Um, let me just show you guys this because sometimes this happens. Sometimes we're writing a word or we make a mistake or we accidentally drop a stamp and it makes a little mark. But if I do this, oops, and then I accidentally put an X at the end, right? Oh shoot, an X doesn't go at the end of oops. That's where I can take my white gel pen and literally just write right over the right on top of whatever that is. And now I would probably let that dry a little bit and maybe go over it again. So you can see, you'll still be able to see a little bit in there. That's why I'll let it dry and go over it again. But uh, white tape, uh, there is, let me see if I have that. I don't know where that is, but. Um, there's like correction tape, uh, almost like a little, that was in that drawer, um, you know, like white out, like when you used it back in the old days, when you used to work on a typewriter, um, kind of that white correction tape. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, but I won't let it bother me. It just is what it is. Right. And then I got a little crooked right there, actually. <laughs> Let's fix that, because that is really crooked. I mean, that's nowhere in line with the rest of them. I don't know what's gonna happen here when I try to do this. No, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. Okay, uh, I get shaky and lightheaded. I, oh yes. Um, <laughs> standing up, eating over the sink, right? Standing up, eating over the sink. Um, so I guess it's eating over the, when eating over, the sink, standing up. I mean, I guess you're probably not sitting down eating over the sink, but standing up. Okay, let's see what else we have. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, my stomach growls, right? You guys, your stomach growls? Does your stomach growl? Um, my stomach growls. It's hangry. Uh, all right, let's see. I have room for one more. Um, nothing looks good. That was my last one. Where nothing looks good or nothing sounds good, right? Nothing sounds good or everything sounds good. Um, maybe it's that. Nothing and everything sounds good. At the same time, nothing and everything sounds good. All right, there we go. So there's my list. You know you're hungry when. Uh, I think what I'm going to do just really quickly, I'm going to lift this up. I'm gonna to try to lift it up and bring it up maybe just a little bit because that little extra white space there is bugging me just a tad. So let's see what happens when we do this. You have to be careful. 
well, yeah. Because I can already see, I'm peeling up a little bit of the paper. So it really probably should just be, just leave it. Just leave it, Leo. Just leave it, it's fine, it's fine. There we go, we're just bring that up a tad. Now when I bring that up a tad, I will need to come back in and, uh-oh, so now look what I've done. That can go there. It fits right back in there, it's a little tight. Move this over just a little bit. But I don't want it to get too far because I still want to be able to see a little bit of that edge. All right, so now I need to bring in a little bit more washi. And I'm not worried that it's separated there because I have right where I separated it, right? And then that little bag of groceries is going to cover it up a little bit. We'll just lift up like right like that. And there we go. No one's ever going to know. No one's ever going to know that we did that. All righty. So we're now done with our list. And I need to add just a little bit more adhesive right here because it's lifting and it needs to be able to stay down. All right, there we go. There's our list. You know you're hungry when. And that one will get now adhered inside of my deconstructed insert. Deconstructed insert. That guy will go right there. Now they don't they don't match, right? But they kind of coordinate a little bit. Um so uh Sarah, yes, I saw Sarah, I just saw this. Um I was Looking in uh, one of my drawers that's right here, uh, right before we started, because I needed to put on a little lipstick, put on a little color on my lips, and I saw um, my bracelets from Ariana that I had ordered. Um, Ariana is one of our little um, listers, and I say little. Uh, she, young, I should say young, not little. Um, she is 14, yes, and we love Ariana. Uh, she's 14, she had a little Etsy shop, and those were um, two little bracelets that I ordered from her, but I thought they were just so cute. All right, so there we go. There are, there's my hungry list. And uh, I don't particularly, doesn't bother me if I do something like that where I have two different collections side by side. What kind of helps those two go together uh, is that I've used the same alphabet sticker, the same font, uh, I have the same kind of list in the center where it's just white cardstock. <clears throat> I have something that's going along the bottom of both and then something up in the left-hand corner, excuse me, right-hand corner. So most of the time we see me do this where I'm doing a two-page list so it very much coordinates. Um, I think that's how most of you like to do things, especially if you're a scrapbooker because I know you want your two 12 by 12 spreads next to each other to coordinate. Um, but if you are doing separate collections, separate product, product looks a little bit different, this is the way that you can still make the two lists work together next to each other by um, using the same kind of design, maybe similar title, similar stickers. All right, our next list. This one will also be another list that I do off the page. Like this one I was doing off the page then came back in and um, adhered. So I'm going to do off the page. And typically you'll see me do that when I get to the very end of an insert like this, okay? All right. So I'm going to put this off to the side for a moment. And the list. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. We need to put our things away so I do not lose them. Clean. This guy needs to go right back on my sticker sheet. Okay, we'll put that away, but I will uh, probably end up using that again. Um, that seems, to, phone case, that seems to be uh, putting my ink away, so hang tight. Uh, oh, the bullets and more stamps. That seems to be more and more, I kind of use those on every list. That's why I made them, because typically we need bullets for our list, or at least I do. Alrighty, second list is, try to keep things a little bit straight here. Second list that we're doing today is 
Uh, favorite love songs. Okay, now, I know not everyone is in a love situation, okay? You may hate love. Well, hopefully not. Um, but love songs may not be your thing, or maybe love songs make you sad because you don't want to um, listen to love songs or think about love songs. So do a fill in the blank. Favorite what songs? Favorite classical songs? Favorite rock songs? Favorite uh, country songs? Favorite uh, Broadway tunes? Whatever it is. So you can fill in the blank if the love songs isn't really doing it for you. All right? But that's what I'm going to do. Favorite love songs? Um, oh, Mandy. Okay, great suggestion. Ma Mandy said, as a former band geek, I'm doing favorite movie scores. Oh, there's a lot of good ones there, right? Like any of the Star Wars uh, good movie scores, right? Um, hi, Winnell. Oh, I'm sorry. One of your, oh, what a sweet mom you are. You're running errands for one of your daughters who is home with a sick boy. That's very nice of you. Oh, Susan, I love it. Favorite Disney movie songs, right? How about You've Got a Friend in Me? That's a good one. You've got, I, I can't sing. I'm not going to do that. You've Got a Friend in Me from Toy Story, which Toy Story just so happens to be on one of, um, on my next list as one of my favorite movies. Okay, favorite love songs. This uh, this list was suggested by Diane Sat Satterfield. So I love it when you guys suggest lists. If you ever have a list suggestion, either, um, well, the best thing to do is just shoot me an email because then I can, oh, look at, totally distracted. Some of these things might have to, okay, hold on. Hold on, squirrel. That's total squirrel moment because let's just look. There's some cute things on here. Self-care. Self-care could tie into hangry, right? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. See that little puppy sticker? The little puppy sticker could go right on top of there, and then that will give me just a little bit more added dimension. And then self-care. That's kind of fun. Self-care. Mm. Yeah, I like it there. Self-care. <laughs> self-care hungry. You know you're hungry when. It's a multi-phase title. All right, now we'll get those put out of the way. Okay, so the collection that we're using for this next list. Oh my goodness. Pretty Little Studio Wildflowers. You guys, oh. So this is what you saw in my flat lay. Um, so you either saw it in social media or the email. The flat lay, that's all of this that I take the picture of um, before we really get started. So. Uh, she did. Melissa owns a pretty little studio and she is um, like me in that she is a um, small business owner, uh, runs her business out of her home, as do I. Uh, very, very uh, nice lady. Hard worker. Oh my gosh, such a hard worker because she does it all on her own. Um, does the design, a lot of the design too. So she designed this collection. Anyhow, um, I had pulled out some of the papers. Look at, look at that. This is so fun because this would make for a great base for a list or for fussy cutting. You could fussy cut or even just trim all of these strips in that pattern paper. And then, oh my gosh, you have all those really fun borders. But then maybe you're like, well, I don't like to fussy cut. I hate fussy cutting. Well, uh, there is a, where? Um, if fussy cutting isn't your thing, da, 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 then you have the die cuts, right? Look at that. All those little die cuts um, of the um, little scallop borders. And then you're like, ah, die cuts aren't my thing. I don't want to mess with extra glue. And then we say, oh, well, guess what? If that's not your thing, then da, 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 stickers. So um, yes, Carol, it's brand new. Um, it is brand new. It is called Wildflowers, and I have linked it in the description of the video. So it is something that I carry on my website. Um, but what I love about what Pretty Little Studio does or what Melissa does. So let's take, for example, uh, these guys, okay? Those scallop borders. So they coordinate with everything in the Wildflowers collection. But look how good all of that is to stand alone. I mean, you could use that for so many different things. Um, yes, Karen, yeah, gorgeous, pretty papers. And then you guys know me, my word strip stickers. Look at these fun dictionary stickers, um, all kinds of great things. So that's what I'm going to use on this list. I think there's probably, 
oh my gosh, I bet 30, at least 30 different products or SKUs in this collection. Um, two paper packs this time. So this, the papers that I kind of have right here are from um, the regular 8x8 paper pack. So that'll give you a really good feel. I mean, just look at that. The rainbow, <laughs> love the rainbow. Uh, the scallops that we looked at, but where did that one go? Oh, look at this. This is like a little bit of a of a Vicky Booten vibe to it, don't you think? Uh, with a little kind of uh, watercolor splotches on there, so we can we can channel our inner Vicky without getting all messy, because you know how I am with mixed media. Uh, do you know what I don't think I guys to I have told you guys? Um, Vicky told. Uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, on her Friday night live session, Vicky's coming to see, uh, stay with me in July for 10 days. So we will be doing a joint Friday night live uh, when she's here. On her, normally she does Friday night live, so Vicky and I together will be doing a joint one. I'll be guest, I'll be guesting with her. And then Saturday, uh, we'll do the same thing here. Uh, on my YouTube channel. We will do a joint and Vicky will be guesting on mine. So won't that be fun? Uh, kind of the blonde ambition tour, we joke. But anyhow, uh, I totally digress because you know, squirrel. All right, so this list will be a two page list. Now, other than get all the product out, sometimes, you guys know, I uh, sketch out my list ahead of time. <laughs> well, this is how uh, this is how advanced I get when I sketch. This is how you know that I am like a true artist. There's my sketch, <laughs> right? That's my sketch for this list. I'm thinking, oh, two-page list. It might be fun to have the rainbow paper there. And then I could use the little love on there. So I think that's what we'll do, but we'll see. Because sometimes we do that and sometimes we change our mind. So two-page, love that too. Choose joy. You know what? This would have been awesome for last week when we did Simple Joys, right? So if you guys haven't done your Simple Joys list, uh, that is from one of the die cut packs. All right. Okay, let's see. So if this is this page, so I think what I would do, I need to trim it, right? Let's get our trimmer out. If this is the base of my right page, I need that to be four and three quarters by eight. The reason that I do four and three quarters by eight, the inserts that we use. Let me just find a blank one. Oh, here we go. The inserts that we use are called, that I use, are called standard wide. So standard is 8.25, wide is Five. So standard wide is five wide by 8.25 tall. You see me almost exclusively use either eight by eight papers or six by eight papers when I'm doing my list, just because um, the scale is smaller and then they fit really well. So I say that I trim to five by, or excuse me, uh, four and three quarters by eight, because that gives me then a very nice, um, a very nice border white border on my page when I'm done. So if that is, I need to cut from that. And if I want it to be four and three quarters, if I cut it right there, I get rainbow and rainbow, right? So I get all of those, a little bit of each of those little rainbows. So I like that. Um, and then my love could maybe go down here or I think that's what we'll do. As opposed to going from this side. If I go from this side, then I will end right about, let's look, I would end right about there, all right? So I end there, but I kind of like that too. It's all, it's all really going to depend on where my love goes. So I think though, let's go back here, look at it this way again. If we were cutting off we're doing four and three quarters from this edge, then we'd be cutting that off, right? Oh, all right, I think I like that way better. So I have a little bit of white there and a little bit of white there, and then maybe my love just goes right there, right? I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to trim from this, I'm going to trim off that part, which means I need this part to be four and three quarters. 
four and three quarters. And that way I get a little bit of white and a little bit of white. And that's the way that I decided I wanted it. Now, I also have that. So I could save that for something if I wanted. But this will be the base of my right page. Now, I have that as a die cut. The Love, Love, Love is a die cut, but it also is a sticker. Let me find the sticker and then I'll show you why I maybe want to use the sticker instead because, oh, all right, look at the scale. So a little bit smaller. These are clear stickers. So let's just look and see what happens if I pull this guy off. And I'm kind of liking this a little bit more just because look at, see the scale? Hi, honey. Hello, baby. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? What? Back together. We're ready to go? Oh, okay, good. All right, okay. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so Karen brought up another suggestion. Karen said I could cut it in half and split between the two pages, which I could still theoretically do, right? I won't be doing it in here, but let's just pretend um, because I will be doing this in my other insert. So if I wanted, I could do something like this, and then this could still come over here. Um, or if I cut it in half, I could split between the two pages, but, you know, I've already cut it. So I could do that. And then I just have to figure out how to do my list over here. But, but this is something I could do. Um, if I wanted, and I won't do this, and I'll explain why in a second. If I wanted, I could fussy cut. So I could just come in and cut all of this part away like that, right? I could just cut all of that away and then cut it away up there too. And then leave this here and then that could go like that. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Hmm. Where are my other scissors? Oh, yeah. Let me use my other scissors. So I will just follow that upper line. There is a little kind of white edge to that rainbow. So I'm just going to cut this off. Oh, he's gone, Terry. He was in and out for a sec. All right, so while I'm doing that, because I need to fussy cut both, right? So that could go there. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. All right, now I need to fussy cut this. Uh, so when Nick and I, um, if you are newer and haven't been following, uh, so Nick and I bought an RV um, in October and we finally got it in December. So the very first trip that we took in it, and we named him Harvey, the very first trip that we took now, you know what? It This needs to come off too, even though I love that grid, but I think that grid needs to come off too. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Cut the grid off and then we just have that, right? Because then this would just go there and it doesn't look so... All right, I'm going to cut it off. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Um, so, gosh, where was I? Oh yes, um, our first trip that we took was, we went to the Rose Bowl. Uh, University of Utah played Ohio State in the Rose Bowl and Nick and I both graduated from University of Utah. And we did, that was our very first trip in Harvey and we uh, went with friends of ours. And then Nick and I went um, again, we, oh yes, and that'll be so, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see how I was holding that sticker and then I rotated my hand? And yeah, sorry about that. I didn't mean to flip you all off. <laughs> Whoopsie. Didn't mean to flip you guys off. Look at that. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. Um, I can't do this here because this list doesn't go here. So let me come over here. Oh, yes. Anyhow. So uh, then when Nick and I went a few weeks ago, just Nick and I went. And now we are going uh, today with that uh, same couple uh, that we went with before. All right. So now we need to bring this in here. Because this is where this guy is going. This guy will go right here. Where am I? There we go. 
This guy will go right here. And then this one will go right here. So now I can do this. I know, look, keep it, take it away, keep it, take it away. All right, so now we'll put this little guy right in here. Ooh. Okay, this is what, normally I do my title over here, right? Normally I do favorite love songs, but this is gonna be totally different. I am going to do this here, and this is gonna be my title. This will be my title, okay? favorite love song. So I knew I wanted to use the love, but stickers as opposed to the big one. Uh, so I can do favorite love songs title over here, which is totally different, right? Totally different than we normally do. Okay. Favorite love songs. And if we had our stamp set that had all of the, um, the little icons that we talked about before for all the little music oriented things, then I could use that, but I don't have it. Not yet. It's on the word. It's it's on the. Oh, it's on the list. There are lots of lots and lots and lots of stamps on the list. And I have them all planned out uh, through the end of the year. So I will be doing probably every other month. Probably every other month I will do um, a new stamp set. New stamp sets release. And right now it's looking about four. I'll probably do about four every other month. Four new ones. Okay, so you probably noticed that I did a lot of adhesive right there along the edge and was pretty close to the edge. The reason I did that is um, I wanna make sure that that edge is not going to lift and I will especially do that on this other side as well. Uh, I know there's something I need to do though. Uh, put that right there, I don't want it to stick. I need a corner rounder. I need a corner rounder. Hang on. Did not have that handy. So here we go. I want to, uh, yep, Colleen. <laughs> there we go. Round that corner of the rainbow because I want that to be kind of rounded um, like my pages. All righty. So then this guy, we need to really get our adhesive in right up to the edge. Um, and this is when you are working at the very, kind of the very end of your insert, the last pages. Um, there's a lot that that little guy has to, um, there's a lot that that little guy has to kind of stick to. Oops, see, I got very close to that edge, over the edge. Um, because I have so much going on already, this will curve, right? So I need it to, mm -mm -mm. I need it to make sure that I get fairly close to the edge on my um, on my adhesive so that it is nice and sticky. Okay, so there we go. There's the start of my list. Now, um, I will be writing along here and I kind of have this trapped white space right there. I will not write part of my list this way because then I think that is just, I don't know. Um, well, I don't know, maybe it wouldn't look bad. Maybe it wouldn't look bad. What do you guys think? Do we think that my list should start, because it will be a run-on list. When I say run-on list, I mean something like this, where I just write and write and write and write and write and then use a bullet stamp in between, so it will be run-on. Should we run on all the way across? Or will that look weird? Do I put another sticker or something up in there? Hi, pretty paper obsession. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Um, Go all the way across or straight down? Sticker. Jackie says sticker. Um, Debbie says yes, so I'm not sure. Oh, Debbie says run on. Run on all the way across. Yeah? Let's look and see what... Oh, well, this will solve it, won't it? Oh, I have one of these out. Look it. Da-da-da-da. We could put a, that right there. Oh yeah, nope, I just answered it. No run on, no run on. Uh, we're gonna do that pretty little butterfly, okay? Because I like the butterflies. Now, there's also a smaller butterfly in here. And we know I like the yellow, so let's look. Ooh, there's a purple. Purple could be fun. I don't know, use more purple lately, I'm not. There's a smaller one. 
Oh, let's go up like that so we can really see. There's a smaller one. I don't know, I think I kind of liked the bigger one. Kind of liked that bigger one in there. It fills up the space more. Yep, we're gonna go with the big one. All right, glue pen. I'm gonna use a glue pen here because it'll be a lot easier than trying to get glue or my adhesive in um, those little spots. And then when I do that, lift up with my tweezers and I think we'll go right there. All right, there we go. Here is uh, one side. Now, what I'm going to do, because it gets a little bit harder at this point to write, I'm going to take all those pages out. Again, if you're new, this is not something that you ever see me do. It's just don't, it just no. Um, that'll make it a lot easier to write. All right, I need to outline because I outline everything. We've got to outline first. Uh, this will be, we have uh, this list and then one more list that's also a double pager. So um, I will, I will, whoopsie, I will, will, I will uh, stitch it back together once, um, well, in the next probably two weeks, I'll stitch it back together. And then um, as I stitch it back together, I will do a video of me stitching it back together with the book binding tool or punch or whatever it is. Just so you can see me do that start to finish. And then I can fast forward part of it. All right, there we go. Oh, that's fun. That's totally different. Um, so look at, you guys, here's my sketch. There's my sketch. Um, and that is how it turned out. So, uh, Kind of similar, but then kind of not, right? Yes, uh, Kay, Judith, I'm still going to do a run-on. Absolutely, I'm still going to do my run-on. It'll just be like this. It just isn't going to bleed over onto that second page. All right, so for the bullets, because I need to do bullets, like I did here, in between all of the songs on my list. So I think what we'll probably do is we'll probably do a heart. Right? I think we'll do, let's do maybe the little outline heart. What color do we want to use? What color do we want to use? I really like this color, but I, that's a lot here. That'd be way too much with that. So, mm -mm. we could do yellow, but I, see, here's the thing. I know for certain there is no color that's like that. Oh no, audio, what happened? There's no audio. That's weird. Uh, oh, you're hearing Nick. Oh, okay, so guess what? Uh, hold on a minute, you guys. Um, this happened one time before and we couldn't figure out what happened. Um, <laughs> Sam and my dad were in the garage doing something and you were picking up on them. You know what it is? He must have started my car. I bet you, this is what we figured out last time. He started my car and so my car picked up on um, the, my phone picked up on that Wi-Fi or whatever. You know what I mean? Anyhow, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't start my car again. If he does, we know why. Uh, so I know there's no mint. There is not a distress oxide that is a mint and I want a mint so bad, but there's not one yet. Hopefully yet. Uh, well, we could do a green, the green, that green could be kind of fun. Green. Not purple, and that's, I don't know, maybe the pink. Maybe the pink or the green. The green, if we do green, I think green would be mowed lawn. 
if we, okay, Tattered Rose. We could do Tattered Rose. That's pretty similar, right? Tattered Rose is pretty similar. Just feels like it needs more color. Let's look for the green, maybe Mowed Lawn. I won't do yellow because I always do yellow. Cracked Pistachio, see, it's just not, it's a little bit too much blue in that. Mowed Lawn. What do we think, Mowed Lawn? Let's get it out and see. Let's get out Mowed Lawn and see. Mowed Lawn. Mm -mm -mm. Um, so here's the thing, Judith, or Kay, Judith Kay, just asked a great question and she said, why not the red, or that is kind of a, like a, a purpley reddish color. Um, why not that? So the reason why for me that I don't want to do that is because I love that. It would be really fun if that was not right there also. I think also doing that would just be a lot of kind of that, um, I don't even know what that color is, uh, but it'd be a lot of it. I, so if that wasn't there, I would totally go with that. Absolutely. All right, let's look at Mode Lawn. Mode Lawn may just look a little bit too off. Um, now, I know there, I have lots of purples, so a purple could work. So that would be there. I don't love it. I don't love it. Because really, whatever I need needs to go with that color. Ugh. Alrighty, maybe a pink. Um, we'll see if we can, maybe a pink will work. This is gonna be way harder than I thought. Now we could do something totally different that's not there like that. No, that's too much. We'd be kind of completing the rainbow, but too much. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's go in our pinks. Tattered Rose is really light. Oh, you know what? And this is what someone said. Tattered Rose is really light, and this would be the problem. Um, that, because it's the outline, if I was using the solid heart, if I was using the solid heart, the solid heart might be okay. Uh, Natalie, a rainbow colored bullet points. Yes, if I had more time today, I think that'd be totally fun to do rainbow colored bullet points. Um, I could do two easily because I could do one on that end, one on that end. But I think two colors would be funny. Um, all right. If I decided to go with a tattered rose, um, I think I would need to do a solid. Ooh, maybe some water taffy would work. Let's just bring all of this out. So, I don't know, saltwater taffy. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I am not, this is gonna be weird. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm, well, no, I need to do a color. I was thinking maybe I would just do black, but I can't do, a, I can't do black. That will be a lot of black on that side. So what about Tattered Rose, but we do a solid instead? Oh yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Tattered Rose, but I'll do the solid instead of the outline, okay? Because the solid, I think, will pick up a lot more. Let me just show you that. You get these out of the way. Beep, beep, beep. All right, so. There we go. Oh, purple. Purple, please. Go with the lavender. Oh, I, I know. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, so there we go. There's the outline version, and that's really hard to see. Seedless preserves. Look at you guys. You know your colors, huh? Um, oh, Dora. So, Dora, yeah, here's the thing. Um, so, for me to invite someone to go live with me, basically, they would have to be here. I'm sitting here with me for, like, three hours. So, um, I can't convince my husband or um, our son that lives in the area to do that. <laughs> I need someone to just come do that for me, right? I do. I miss a lot of, I do miss a lot of the chat because I'm working. Um, but here's the thing. If, um, if you uh, have a comment or a question and you want for sure for me to see it, uh, if you put it in the caps, um, if you put it in all caps, then I tend to see it a little bit better, Okay. Um, I'll tend, I tend to see it a little bit better, but it's too hard for me to work and then also read at the same time. Okay, Terry, you just have to get here from Colorado every Saturday. Why not yellow? So I'm worried about too much yellow because uh, I already have the yellow there. 
So I was just worried about too much yellow. So we're just gonna do this. We're gonna do, we're going with tattered rose. All right, we're going with tattered rose, friends. All right, okay, so there we go. Now here's my list. This is in no particular order. Uh, Peggy, all right, a couple of you were saying my rainbow heart washi. Um, yes, I could do that. However, the colors in the rainbow heart washi are, I think, a little bit too, well, I mean, it could work. It could work. Um, this is what I would do. If, if we were doing that, then I would basically be cutting around each of those little hearts, which um, I could do. It'll just take, it would just take a lot longer to do, right? It would take a lot longer to do. So I won't do that today. But we've talked about before. This is another way that you can use the heart washi. You could use the heart washi um, and cut out your little hearts like that. Like that. Okay. Well, I won't keep that there because I um, need vertical washi. So Kristen, uh, you know what? There is vertical, there are two vertical washies, right? We have vertical number washi, but mm, okay. Now that we did that, uh, I don't, I'm not going to put this guy here because there's no orange in it, but what I will do, I will, I like this teal color. The teal color might be kind of fun, right? And here's the other thing. If I decided I could kind of strategically add a few, um, I could strategically come in and, my gosh, me and my middle finger again, sorry. Um, I could strategically add, if we put that there, oh, I still see it. I could come in and strategically add a couple of larger colored hearts throughout here. We'll see. At this rate, what time is it? Do, 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 do. It is 11.20, yeah. We'll, we'll be able to start a little bit on our last list, but we won't be able to get all the way through it, I don't think. Just because we're, we've been doing a lot of playing on this one, right? We've been doing a lot of experimenting on this guy. All right, here we go. There, cute. Okay, I like it. We pulled in a little bit more color. Okay, ooh, doesn't that look fun right there? Um, Natalie's supposed to be doing online traffic school. Oh boy, this is a lot more fun than online. This is a lot more fun um, than doing online traffic school. If I do say so, say my if I do say so myself. But really, what isn't? Um, so Peggy, take it with you and Harvey. Um, I could. I have other things that I'm taking with me, and I can't work in the car. It'll give. I'll get not seasick. I'll get car sick. All right, here we go. First one in no particular order. Some of these, you guys, I have a very diverse, um, uh, a very diverse taste in music. And this one just happens to be the first one on my list. So please do not judge me for this. Okay, promise. I have to put that little caveat out there. Uh, this one, Missing You Now. Missing You Now. Does anyone know who sings that song? Missing You Now? Missing you now. Anyone know who sings Missing You Know Now? Missing You Now. Uh, someone says you, oh, shouldn't need a fussy cut. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. You probably don't need a fussy cut. But. Missing You Now. Okay. Missing You Now. That song is by Michael Bolton. <laughs> Michael Bolton. Yeah, Michael Bolton. Remember? Remember Michael Bolton? Um. I really like to sing, friends. I really like to sing. I will not. Look at Becky, my creative live. Totally knew it. Um, yeah, I, I like to sing, but I won't sing to you because you don't want to hear it. Um, oh, then the next one, Never Tear Us Apart. That one is in excess. I know Michael Bolton with his long flowing locks. He kind of looked like Fabio, right? Long flowing locks. But you have to admit, he had a good, you know. Oh, I need. Mean, he had a nice voice. I need a pencil board. A pencil board is a flat surface uh, to stamp on or to write on. But I am going to put this right here just because I have some kind of other bumps and things going on that will help me to stamp right there. Uh, that pencil board, uh, 
Nancy Gullison made for me. Um, and so I'll use it. Uh, yes, in exit. Becky, my creative life, look at you. Look at you, yes, never tear us apart is in excess. So you guys, as I'm listing in the chat, um, if you're chatting, if you're chatting, uh, tell me what would be on your list. And even if it's not favorite love songs, it's maybe the music scores or, um, you know, uh, from movies or um, rock songs or whatever, who you love, John Mayer. Debbie, I'm a huge John Mayer fan. Huge, huge, huge. Love him, love him, love him. Okay, so... Um, let's see, Missing You Now, Never Tear Us Apart. Ooh, okay, here's another one. This is an oldie, well, oldie kind of, not really though. Only Time Will Tell. Anyone, uh-oh, look what I did. Only Time Will Tell. Uh, ooh, Carry On My Wayward Song. Oh, I know that, and um, Killing Me Softly, yes. Carol, Killing Me Softly with his song. Is that Carol, is that Carol King that sings that, Carol? Killing me. No. Strumming my his fingers. Who is that? Who sings that one, Carol? Um, all right. Promise. Mm, I don't know if I know that one, Kristen. Um, journey. Oh, anything. Journey, right? Okay. So I did only time well tell. That's where I'm going to come back in with my little white gel pen. I need to erase the E by writing over it, and then I will come back in later and write an I. Only time will tell. I know it's not well. It should be will. But sometimes when I'm talking, my brain is working differently than I want it to. Only time will tell. Asia. Um, only time will tell. Right here waiting for you by Richard Marks. Oh, Romeo Void. Kristen, I know Romeo Void. Yes. I mean, I don't know them, but I know who Romeo Void is. All right. Only time will tell. Um, oh, okay. Here's another one. Um... Again, no judging. All out of love. Do we know that one? All out of love? This, I really want to start singing that song. <laughs> Those, this was like seventh or eighth grade for me, where I would, um, I know when Vicky is here, I know Teresa, she would. Uh, Roberta Flack, I was close. Air Supply, Laura, you got it. Yep, that's Air Supply. Um, everything I do. I think I have a Brian Adams on my list, Britta. Um, oh, by the dashboard lights, meatloaf. So this is lovely plans. There are not very many meatloaf songs that I think are mainstream. Uh, by the dashboard lights is mainstream as much as, um, as much as meatloaf can be mainstream, but, um, yes. Oh, your song, Joanne. I love Elton John. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Um, but yes, Vicky, we might have to do another, um, we might have to do another um, version of this list when Vicky's here, um, right? Because she does sing. She loves to sing. All out of love. Okay. Okay. Here's another one. It's called When Can I See You? When Can I See You? The, I learned about this song when, oh gosh, way back in the day when um, 90210 was on. Uh, Baby Face. When Can I See You, an amazing song. Baby Face, if you don't know Baby Face, is um, an incredibly talented uh, singer-songwriter. And he has written songs for many, many, many famous people, songs that you would, um, songs that you would know. When Can I See You, yes, that's a very good one. All right, next up, okay. Um, don't Let Him Steal Your Heart Away. Anyone, Bueller, Don't Let Him Steal your heart away. Don't let him steal your heart away. Oh, I don't want to miss a thing, Joanne. That's a good one. Bad English. Oh, when I see you smile. Karen, yes. I love that song. I could sing that right now. When I see... Yep. Okay. Uh-uh. Can't. I won't do it. I will not do it. Oh, Mandy. Um, Lovely plans. Guess what? Um, I really think... Where? Look at all so little... I swear, Oh Mandy's on my list. Oh Mandy by um, 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 Oh Mandy is Barry Manilow, right? Dust in the Wind. Oh yes, yes. Okay, look at. Oh my goodness, what good songs, right? Don't want to miss a thing. Okay, don't let him steal your heart away. That is um, Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Don't let him. Don't let him steal your heart away. 
Oh, and of course, this one, right? Unchained Melody. Um, if, if that song does not, if you're not certain about the title, if you've seen the movie Ghost with um, Demi Moore and, uh, oh my gosh, what's his name? John uh, Swayze, Patrick Swayze. That is the song. Karen, Beth by Kiss is actually on my list. Can you believe it? It really is. It's on my list. Beth, look it. Beth, Kiss. <laughs> All right. Unchained Melody. Um, let's stay together. Ooh, let's stay together. Uh, is that um, Marvin Gaye? Let's stay together. I can't remember if that's Marvin Gaye or not. No, I don't think it is. I can't remember who that is. November Rain. Hmm, Sarah, I'll have to... The name sounds familiar. Guns and Roses. Oh, that's probably why. Uh, okay, let's stay together. Um, I say a little prayer. I say a little prayer. Um, that song is from a movie. Well, it's in a movie. <laughs> I keep wanting to sing. Al Green. There you go. Thank you. It's Al Green, Sarah. Um, I say a little prayer for you forever and ever. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. Okay. All I ask of you. All I ask of you is from Phantom of, the, Phantom of the Opera. All I ask of you. Phantom of the Opera. Um, November Rain. I'm going to have to go listen to that. Dionne Warwick. Haha, <laughs> Dionne Warwick. Al Green. Hi, honey. I know. Okay. Come back in, in an hour. He's like, it's 1130. Just giving you a ton. Oh, against all odds. Yes, Sarah. What? We should make Nick come in and read all the comments, shouldn't we? Oh, back to you. Back to you as a John Mayer. Back to you. So this actually was not a difficult list for me to put together. Uh, the reason being... I, well, I really like music. I really, 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 really like music. And so I have lots of music on my um, Apple Music, the old iTunes, whatever. And I have three different playlists on my iTunes or Apple Music called Swoon. S-W-O-O-N. Swoon 1, Swoon 2, and Swoon 3. Um, and a lot of this music was on there. Jack Wagner. <laughs> yeah, I remember him from General Hospital. He probably doesn't like to be thought of as that as being from General Hospital, but Jack Wagner. All right, there is a song called The Christmas Song. And it is by Dave Matthews Band. If you like Dave Matthews, even if you don't even really know Dave Matthews, The Christmas Song, oh my goodness, it's so good. It is so good, so, so good. Love Dave Matthews. Um, Christmas Song. Um, oh, here's another one. It's another John Mayer. It's called Comfortable. Comfortable. It's a love song. Frisco Jones. Oh, yes. Gosh, you guys remember back in the day when I, I don't know how old I was, like Luke and Laura. Oh, hello, it's me, Dora. I love Todd Run. Well, Todd Rundgren is kind of a little bit of a one-hit wonder from the Hello, It's Me song, I think. Um, uh, okay. Oh, next one. This is Brian Ferry, Dance Away the Heartache. Now, that may not seem like a love, well, love song. It could be hard love, too, I guess. Dance Away the Heartache. That's a good one. Oh, Dock of the Bay. Yes, that's a good one, Colleen. Colleen, you are you have done a lot of concerts, right? You saw Elvis, and you right? Isn't that you? You probably have a lot of really good songs on your list. You probably saw Otis Redding. Oh, Sade. Sade, yeah. Sade. That's a hard one. Uh, say no ordinary love. That's another really good one. Another really good one. All right, dance away the heartache. Um, oh, end of the road. Do you guys know end of the road? Boys to men. End of the road. Oh, that's such a good one. And I'm not like huge boys to men song. It's more. I mean, I'm song. I'm not a huge boys to men fan. I probably that's probably the only song I know. But oh, I love that one. End of the road. Far behind. Far behind is Candlebox. See, I've got Candlebox on my list. I have uh, Michael Bolton on my list. 
a little bit of a broad range, right? A little bit of a broad range. Uh, good night, Elizabeth. Counting crows. Good night, Elizabeth. And it is with an S. Good night, Elizabeth. Um, da -da -da -da. How do you talk to an angel? How about that one? Oh, can't fight this feeling. Uh, the crowded house, Diane. Good seal. Uh, beach gal, yes. Yeah, seal's good. Uh, reeling in the years. Oh, Steely Dan. Dora, I love Steely Dan. Uh, yes, love Steely Dan. Um, Callum Scott. I don't know that song. Debbie, don't know that one. Um, Baby, Fos, Baby Face wrote the end of the... Oh, Scrapbook Sister, are you kidding me? No wonder I love that song. I love Baby Face. So I love End of the Road and then also um, the one... Da, 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 da. Oh, I can't. What is it? The, the other one. No, I can't even see it on my list. Oh, when can I see you? Uh, silly Love Songs. Yes, that's a good one. That is a good one. All of these songs make me want to sing. Um... Okay, Ijeoma, I don't know that one. I'm ready to love you. Tevin Campbell, don't know that one. All right, I'm going to do a few more, you guys, and then I will finish up my list um, before we're de together again. Um, because now we're just, you know, making, well, we're making our list. I actually like, I really like, I know you guys were not sure, I like the Tattered Rose as the heart um, because it's just super neutral and it'll be super neutral as we kind of continue down to the end. All right. Um, good night. Oh, how do you talk to an angel? Did I do that one yet? No. Nope. How do I talk? How do you talk to an angel? How do you talk to an angel? Neon moon. Oh, heart will go on. Lady in red. Uh-huh. Yeah. Purple rain. Yes. Um, Duran Duran. Yes. All right. Oh, I'd really love to see you tonight. Really love to see you tonight. I can't remember who sings that one. You know what, you guys? I could do a whole Traveler's Notebook insert. Whole Traveler's Notebook insert about music, about favorite songs. I just love it. Oh, Lips Like Sugar, Echo and the Bunnymen. Uh, I'm going to do two more. Tennessee Whiskey. Chris Stapleton, I love that song. Tennessee Whiskey. And then the other one, and this is not, um, this is gonna, this is not really a love song, but it's part of my spoon list because I love this song, um, which is interesting for me. I, I think we've talked about things before. Um, I'm pretty open book. Um, I am not religious. Um, when I was younger, um, we were in, te we lived in Texas and my sister and I went to a private Episcopalian school. Um, but I was never really raised religious. So religion is not a big part of my life. Um, very spiritual. So spiritual religion. Um, but this song, and I bring this up because this song, I, this gives me goosebumps every time I see it. I mean, hear it. Um, I can only imagine by mercy me. Uh, that song, and I think probably the reason why this song for me is just so amazing, um, I don't follow any kind of Christian rock, but that's, I can only imagine Mercy Me is Christian rock. Um, there is a, I'm going to keep just while I'm talking, I'm going to keep just writing. Um, Oh, I can't do that. My heart will go on. I can't write and think and talk at the same time. I'll stop. Um, that is Celine Dion. Okay. Um, oh, yes. I can only imagine. So don't follow Christian Rock. Don't know any of that. Um, Mitzi, the movie is amazing. Uh, well, I should say the second half of the movie, because I watched it like three in the morning the other night when I couldn't sleep and I was channel surfing and it was on. Um, but... This is just a quick little story, and then we'll move on to the next list. Um, Nick comes from, my husband, a, a very large family. Um, he, his dad was one of, I think, 13 kids. And um, so Nick has, there's a lot of cousins and aunts and uncles. And one of Nick's cousins um, that, one of Nick's cousins had gone in, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 years ago now for surgery. And um, it 
long story short, she passed away. And at her funeral, um, there was a woman who, um, she didn't sing, but she signed that song, I Can Only Imagine. And it was, you know, the, the song was playing, but she stood up there and she was signing that song. Oh my gosh. And I think probably the re one of the reasons why that song is just, it just gives me goosebumps and makes me cry every time, even though I'm not religious, is that um, probably just that whole thing, that whole, it just, I listened to the words because, it, you know, we're at a funeral and it was just, oh my gosh. Anyhow, so uh, I have lots more songs on my list and I will finish up my list and uh, we'll just see how it turns out when we're together uh, again on our all day uh, session on the, um, on the, on the seventh or whatever the first day of May. Uh, Celia, I can only imagine as a stable at funerals. And you know what? That makes sense. I mean, it, it makes sense. It makes sense for that. Um, if you don't know, uh, that song is about, um, I guess seeing, seeing God for the first time. Um, and I guess that's probably when you pass away, that would probably be the first time, <laughs> but I don't know because I'm not religious. So, but I love that song. Okay. Anyhow, uh, our last list, uh, let's do this. So you guys, um, for the giveaway for this week's giveaway, um, I am going to do an assortment of the pretty little studio product. So pretty little studio is um, the product that we've been using here. So I will do an assortment of pretty little studio products and, um, I will draw for that the morning of, uh, our all day session. So the way that you'll participate in that giveaway, if you'd like to participate, is I will ask you to leave me a comment on the video when it is over. So not, um, not in the chat, but um, on the video when it is over, and tell me, you can tell me um, anything that would be on one of your lists today. Uh, you know you're hungry when, uh, favorite love songs, or uh, going into our third list, movies that are on repeat. And I haven't quite figured out um, I, I need to use the word favorite in there. So I'll probably say favorite movies on repeat. That will probably be the title of my list is favorite movies on repeat. Um, so you could also tell me one of your favorite movies on repeat, meaning one that you watch multiple times. Um, this, I was thinking, this could also be a really fun his and hers list, okay? So what I mean by that, and I've done one of these before, um, where... Nick did the list and I did the list. So this could be a his and hers list or yours and mine or whatever. Uh, so I have my list of my favorite movies. And then I asked Nick, I asked Nick what um, some of his favorite movies were. And then I wrote those down. I, we, we won't do that, but because I didn't think about it enough in time because uh, I need to, I would need more movies from him, but that could be kind of a fun one. This is also a great, you know, you're sitting around at dinner um, and you need a conversation starter or an icebreaker or you're at a party and you're standing next to someone you don't really know. Hey, I saw this last night. That's one of my favorite movies. What are your favorite movies? Um, let's see. Um, hi, April English Kelso said, I'm new here. What's the channel about? Uh, April, we are doing what I call creative listing. So, for example, uh, we just did a list about uh, favorite love songs. This is a list from last week, Simple Joys. So, creative listing, we take a topic, like what are your favorite, some of your simple joys, and then I use different product, and then I make my list. So, that's basically what we do. Uh, sometimes we use photos. Sometimes, uh, like this list, no photos. We're just listing. Okay, so movies on repeat, favorite movies on repeat. I... <laughs> need to make sure I get this put back together again. That goes there. And then I'm going to do off the page. Oh, and we do them um, in a traveler's notebook, April. Uh, I, I do my lists in a traveler's notebook, but you could do it in a spiral notebook. You could do it in a planner. You could do it in whatever you want. Uh, okay, movies on repeat. So I need to get all of this product out because we are not using uh, this product. We're not using wildflowers for this list. We are going to use Oh my goodness, another amazingly stunning collection. Uh, Spectrum 49 and Market, the Spectrum or Spectrum Sherbet. Look at this, your scrapbooker. What an awesome title that is on a 12 by 12, right? That's from uh, 
still wildflowers. Okay, let me just get this stuff kind of moved off to the side so that we have room to do our next list. Um, so we have room for our next list. And more, more fun product to play with. Um, Callum Scott. See, I don't know that song. I need to find that song. Um, oh, Susan. Yes, and Susan, I, um, I, I answered your question. Uh, Susan had asked if I was going to use, um, when she placed her order, she wrote a note on the order and said, am I, was I going to use uh, Spectrum, the Spectrum collection, Spectrum Sherbet, uh, in a class? No, I'm not going to be using that in a class. I've got so many classes planned right now um, with new product coming out, so just no bandwidth to do that. But we will use it in, you know, we'll do it some Saturday lists with it for sure. All right, um, da, 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 da. let me just get these out of the way. My head is freaking pounding for the third day in a row. I don't know what is going on. I'm sure it's menopause because the no sleeping, the hot flashes and the migraines, it's killing me. All right, oh, out of the way. Okay, Spectrum Sherbet, oh, you guys. Okay, um, 49 and Market. This, this washi is the first thing that caught my eye, okay? Uh, those of you that have been with me for a little while, uh, this is the same setup as the stitches washi that they did. But look at this. About uh, one, two, three, four. There's another little row that's hiding. This one, well, look at all of these. Let's just do this real quick. Um, da -da 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 -da. Where is my, my swatching book? My swatching book that if one of the new stamp sets that I am doing, uh, it's actually the next one that you'll see, you'll see it come out. Um, you will see it come out next month in May, probably towards, May, probably about a month from now. Uh, I would use my new stamp set to swatch the, this new washi so I could see, but this one, oh my gosh, this one caught my eye. Look at this, look at those. Ah, look at. Look at those just cute little like watercolor dots. Isn't that awesome? So that's one of them. This one is like a little multicolored stitch, right? Multicolored stitch. Both of those have a transparent background so you don't even really see the background after you use it. This is a really good, ooh, look at that, diagonal in that same rainbow. Uh, so this is the Spectrum Sherbet. Assorted washi roll, or assorted, assorted washi. Spectrum Sherbet, linked in the description of the video. So this will give you a really good feel for the collection. But look at that, oh my goodness. Look, it looks all mixed media-y, so we can, again, channel our inner Vicki Booten uh, without having to get all messy. That, those are like tickets, kind of. Oh gosh, so good. And then this one. So in this collection, there are paper packs. Um, for this one, I brought in the 12 by 12 paper too, or the 12 by 12 paper pack. So 12 by 12, um, six by eight. Look at that. I mean, look at, you can make the easiest list. Just put that along the bottom or put it along the side and there's just your decorative list, which maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll do that. Um, all right, washi. So there's all different kinds of washi. This too, look at these. Little, um, do, 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 do. these are the little stamp, like the perforated stamp washi. It is snowing so hard outside. Hopefully we'll get south pretty quickly and not be in the, in the snow because it's no fun driving in the snow, but look at that. And that has your little perforated washi. So you could do your little squares like that. Or do a strip. Like that. All right. Um, paper packs. Strawberry lemonade. Look at that. Again, this the mixed media side of this, you guys, makes it so easy. Terry, I can't show you the sneak peek of the stamps yet because I don't have my production samples yet. Um, all I have artwork. <laughs> I have artwork uh, that has scribbles and changes all over it. So not quite. Uh, look at this. Look at that. I mean, just so beautiful. That, 
Okay, and then that guy. So you have the Tidal Wave, which is the blue side, and then you have the um, Strawberry Lemonade, which is kind of the pink side. And then that just bridges the gap between all of them. And then some rub-ons and die cuts and laser cuts and these. Look at those. Chipboard words. So this collection, oh my gosh, Katie. So Katie Partit designed this for 49 a market, and it is a stunner. All right, so this list is um, movies on repeat, favorite movies on repeat. So it's going to be a two-page list because, I mean, hello, it has to be, right? It just has to be. So let's see what we want to do. I didn't pull out the 12 by 12 paper because I'm going to use the 6 by 8 It's going to be a two-page list, but um, the second page, the right page, is going to be completely, um, ooh, I just had an idea. The second page or the right-hand page is just going to be completely decorative. There will be no list on that page, kind of like what we just did on the other one. So what I'm thinking, uh, okay, I haven't opened this yet. Oh, okay, look, so double-sided. What do we have here? Let me look. Uh, double-sided. We have do, 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 three each of nine double-sided pattern papers plus one fussy cut element. Okay. So lots of different. I'm just looking. Maybe that one. Because. Hold on. Ah, this is what I wanted. This is the one I wanted. And I got scared for a minute because I thought, oh no, I thought that it was only in that little short guy. But look at that. Look at how fun. So if you're using this for something else, like a mini book or something, you have the um, landscape version of that and the portrait version of that, this. So this is going to be part of my list. What I'm thinking is, remember a few minutes ago when I said, oh, if you're a 12 by 12 scrapbooker, that enjoy word would be really cool. Well, guess what? I think I can work that in on this list going vertically. So let me just find that in, as I threw it in here. Let's look. I want it to be very gentle so I don't lose that. Enjoy. So let's see what that looks like. So in order for this to work, this needs to be 4.75, which means I'm going to lose a lot of that pattern, right? I'm going to use some of the pattern. Where'd my ruler go? Um, Scrappy Lil Risa. This is um, the new 49 and Market um, Spectrum Sherbet Collection, okay? Um, this guy, I will probably sell out of it pretty quickly on my website, but, um, I have another order coming just so you know. Um, da, 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 da. so I have another thought. I really want to use the enjoy. This list is, um, favorite movies, favorite movies on repeat, but that's a little bit too large, I think. But what I can do is I can find the sticker sheet. Look at, also in the sticker sheet. And that is a clear sticker. So if I wanna use that same enjoy, I bet that is Melissa's handwriting. I jumped back to Pretty Little Studio for a sec. I could do that. All right, so let me just go back. I am squirreling a lot. I'm just very excited. So if this is going to be four and needs to be four and three quarters wide, let's see. I think I want to cut it off. I think I want some of this white though. If we cut it off right there, then my little enjoy can fit right there or it can fit right there. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Let's take the six by eight. I always leave a six by eight at eight because that's the size of the insert, but... I need to trim this to four and three quarters. So I want, oh yeah, I'm gonna trim off part of that, part of that butterfly side, but don't worry because look it, I still get that nice cross section of all those beautiful colors, right? I still get that nice, nice cross section of all the beautiful colors. So if, yeah. 
if I wanted, and I'm not going to do this, but I just cut off that part, I could kind of do what we did in the last one. I could have that going there and then write my list there, but that's not what I want to do. I can still save that and use it for something, maybe. Let's go ahead and round these corners. So those of you that are um, big 12 by 12 scrapbookers also have it in 12 by 12. So there's three different, I think, paper packs in 12 by 12. So you'll find all that linked in the description of the video just under, um, just under, ooh. I didn't think I wanted to do that yet. I was thinking that this would go over here, but I've just rounded the corners, so I probably won't do that. I was thinking we would do this with Enjoy right there. But now that I've already done it, I think we need to do it this way with Enjoy right there. Um, oh, I don't know. I'm so all over the board right now. We just get excited. We just get so inspired by fun product that it just, yeah, that's what happens, huh? Okay. Um, let's see. Terry was just thinking that too. I don't know what, I missed something. Vicky collection, I know, doesn't it? It does. Well, what's so awesome, right? I and mean, it looks, it does, it reminds me a lot because because of Vic, Vicky's mixed media, for sure. And if you guys don't, when I keep talking about Vicky, it's my friend Vicky Booten, um, amazingly talented artist and designer. She has her own line of products through American Crafts. But maybe Enjoy needs to go here instead. Here or there? This is a little bit hard to tell because I need the... Let me try to hold that and see. I don't know. I feel like you would think it would go along the bottom. So I kind of feel like we need to make it do something a little bit different than we'd normally do. So we're just going to do this. The only, hmm, only problem is that darn Y is so hanging. It's so low. If I do that, though, guess what? We're committing. Ooh, and you know what's the problem? I haven't. Ah, I have not yet. Careful careful here. I haven't, um, oh, I have not adhered this yet. So let's do that. And then this, oh, that works because that can still be there, but this will need to come off a little bit, hang off the edge. So I'll have to make it bleed. All right, because I better enjoy these movies. If they're my favorite movies that are on repeat, I probably enjoy them, right? There's all kinds of movies. So here's the thing. In a list like this, if you're like, oh my gosh, I can't remember what are some of my favorite movies, Google it. Now, when I say Google it, don't Google what are my favorite movies. Google, you know, favorite movies of all time or top movies of all time. Um, that may help to jog your memory on some. Now, if you're like me, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I'm not a huge Marvel fan. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. I'm not a huge um, uh, Lord of the Rings fan. So, um, but those are some of the things that you see on there. But you can always Google if you are having a hard time kind of remembering some things that may help to spark your memory. All right, so now what, what are we going to have go over here? We need something that is complimentary, but not like too overbearing, right? Because that's overbearing. Not, that's not overbearing, but we want that to for sure like carry the, the look. So that could go there as my base. Um, that could go there. The only problem is I need to put white cardstock down. And then once I put white cardstock down, we're not going to see um, any of that pattern unless I actually wrote my list on there. No, I can't do that. That will be too weird for me. Um, but you could do that. You could write your list directly on there. But I won't do that because that's just not me. Um, that, no, too much. And we'd only see part of it. We wouldn't see enough of that. I like that there are multiples of each, right? That makes it, we don't have to make, oh, this, this. Oh, Debbie, you know what? Debbie, we have not done a favorite actors list. So um, quick timeout, a quick timeout because I need to go to our list of lists page in my workbook. Um, favorite actors or actresses or actor could be, I mean, I, I think technically, Actor um, is for both actor, female, and male, or um, any type of performer, let's say that. Um, Debbie Farnham. 
So we'll put you next to that one and we will do that uh, sometime in the future. I like that idea. Okay. Um, this list, by the way, was suggested by Diane Bruce, which is very interesting. Uh, favorite uh, love songs was Diane Satterfield, D-I-A-N-N-E, and um, movies on repeat, Diane Bruce, D-I-A-N-N-E. Um, oh, movies and oh, TV, you could totally do that. Favorite TV shows growing up. Um, I think we have, you guys would have to remind me, I think we have done a favorite TV shows growing up. This paper I love. Um, I would not make a list on this. I would have this be like a supporting page, kind of like that, and to put something right in the center. Ooh, you could put, it'd be fun, you could put like a round circle in the center and do your title on that and your list on the opposite page. Or you could do a photo. Dora, I did get yours from Facebook. Yep, you're in. You're you're down on my list. Thank you, I did. I added it yesterday. Um, I could put a photo right there, but I just love that paper, how that kind of starburst is going out. But I think we may end up with that. And then we'll just see a little bit of that rainbow. Oh, is that the same thing? Oh, it's not. Okay, I like this one. I'm gonna do this one because it's just a little bit, it just has a little bit of white next to it. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we need to turn this guy down to, mm -mm -mm, four and three quarters because we use a standard wide and the wide is five. So I have it be a little bit narrower. So that will end up going right there like that. Now, what is interesting? I'm going to cheat. Oh, actually, I'm not going to cheat. Um, normally, what I would do, and it would be upside down, but let's just talk about this for a minute, you guys. Um, and this one is not. Normally, when you think of a rainbow, you usually go light to dark. And generally, even if it's not a rainbow, but I'm using paper that has a pattern on it, I usually prefer go, to go light to dark because that really draws your eye down. When you have darker up at the top, it's kind of heavy at the top. But here, my, rain, my, my butterflies start dark and go to light. So really, I need to start dark and go to light because normally I would do this. Um, but then I don't like that kind of catty corner thing going on. Catty corner, kitty corner. All right. So let's go ahead and round these two corners. And then I need white cardstock because I need to do my, um, I'm going to do my, I'm going to do my list on white cardstock and then I'll just have that nice border around it. Um, this is another one of those collections, you guys, that um, I love because it's super generic. Uh, you could use this year round. You could use this for any kind of list. Um, that's why I like it. All right. So here I have my white cardstock. I always use eight and a half by 11. This is a Nina Bright White. Uh, I link to it in the description of the video. I don't sell it, but um, you can find it on Amazon. And I link to it in the description of the video, what I use. So I think that would be four and a quarter. Let's see. We want to make sure that we can see enough of that pattern that nice, pretty color all the way around. Mm, I think we wanna go a little bit narrower, just a tad. So let's go to, oh, that's, no, let's go to four. So if I go four, like that, there we go. Now I can see a little bit more of that pretty uh, pattern all the way around. Then let's just chop this one off. That is probably going to be, Seven and a quarter. That's what I'm going to guess. <laughs> Look at dead on seven and a quarter. You know how I knew that? Because we took three quarters of an inch off uh, on our width. All right. Base of my list. Oh, you know what I want to do? I need to come in right there along the side. Just on that side, though, because that side is going to end up uh, being in the center of the book like this. And I need to make sure it's nice and secure because we're starting to go around that, all of that 
mass or girth or whatever you want to call that. Ooh, it's so pretty. All right, so now I think I am going to, I need to outline, but I'm going to outline these as if it was one spread. Well, it is one spread, but I'm not going to do the center. And that just kind of gives my eye a place to land, to end, right? It just kind of brings it all in together. So then we'll do the same thing here. We definitely need it on this side because all the white along here. I guess technically we should go in between there too. Ugh, I don't like the in between there. Okay. But I can do this. Um, I'm gonna just come in, da, 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 da. erase with the white gel pen, and then I'll need to let it dry and then come in one more time on top of it. Okay, yeah, I'll need to come in that again. That again, for sure. All right, so this is favorite. So favorite movies on repeat. That is going to be my title. All right, so now what I need is I'm going to get out a stamp. And I'm going to get out the favorite stamp. Favorite stamp is another one of my new stamps. There we go. And it's just the word favorite, different sizes and different fonts. And the reason, um, well, we do lists that have a title of favorites a lot. So it really makes sense. Um, it really makes sense to have a stamp set that is called favorites with lots of different favorite options, right? Um, I think what I will do, this is favorite movies on repeat. I think I'm going to use this guy, all right? Uh, just because we have something pretty scripty going on over here. This one is my favorite, but I, I wanna do something really basic. So that is basic. And um, it'll kind of match or pair well with that. So we'll use that. And then I need to have a, um, Uh, alpha stickers for the title. So now what I need for that I have to decide first what color I'm going to stamp favorite in because then I will uh, find that I kind of keep getting drawn to this pink. That pink is really fun. I think I am going to go with the pink. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the pink. All right, so let's look at our pinks. Warm lipstick. Ooh, no, picked raspberry's a little bit. Okay, here we go. Um, picked raspberry has a little bit too much purple in it, I think. Kitsch Flamingo or Worn Lipstick? Oh, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do Kitsch Flamingo because I think that that one, that is from uh, Color Vibe Summer. Ooh, golly, that's pretty bright. I don't know, that's probably brighter than I wanna go. So nope, uh, and I know that won't. Ooh, maybe this one, Color Vibe Lights. Let's see how that pink matches up. Mm. All right, I, I'm gonna do something different now. I'm gonna stamp that in black and then I will do this in movies and then on repeat. The reason I'm going to do that as I kind of think through that in my head, um, let me show you. If my title, I have a stamped favorite Right, and then I have um, the stickers. 
And then I have on repeat. So I need to write on repeat. So that will be in black. And movies, I said, is going to be in the pink sticker. So I kind of feel like a favorite should be in black because it might look kind of weird if favorite and movies are both in pink and then on repeat is in black. Unless I went through all my colored markers and tried to find a similar color marker, but I don't want to do that. So we're going to do black, stamp, favorite, movies, pink sticker, and then I will write on repeat. But we kind of needed to think that through before we did our stamping, right? I need to add my title, the movies part first, um, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do that first. You guys are just, I'm thinking out loud here, so... You're getting me thinking out loud. Is Lainey here? Oh, oh my gosh, my sister's here. Hi, Lainey. Um, if you didn't know, Lainey and Lail. I don't think Lainey's ever hopped on. Hi, Lainey. Uh, Lainey lives in, oh, if Nicole, Nicole, if you're on, uh, Lainey's my sister, well, my only sister, but my sister that lives in, uh, Rap well, outside of Rapid City. Um, okay. Let's see, and I think this is too big. In these sticker pads, um, and I have all the Simple Stories sticker books on my website, uh, you have two different sheets, three different fonts-ish. You have a larger kind of uh, sans serif font, so no serif. Uh, serifs are these little guys, like the little legs that pop out, sans serif. Um, you have the little block stickers, those have a serif. So you see the little like legs, tops and bottoms. And then you have the sans serif again, but smaller. I think I want to go with the smaller. So movies, movies, what time is it? 12, 10, okay. Well, we'll get our title done and then we'll end up finishing. We'll finish this, we'll finish this list. Uh, I don't know, I'll either finish it before we meet again in two weeks or we'll do it then. Maybe I'll try to take it with me, even though I'm taking other stuff with me. When Nick and I went a couple of weeks ago down to Southern Utah to, um, in our RV camping, we were in the middle of nowhere in a boondocking, so we weren't in a campsite or anything. Um, no hookups. It was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, Southern Utah has a lot of red rock, so um, very all the dirt is red. And I bring that up because... Um, on Sunday, it was so windy. So we went on a couple of hikes and for a while we were trying to sit outside, but it was so windy. There was red dust flying everywhere and it was super windy. So we were like, oh boy. So we ended up going inside of Harvey for quite a while and I had some projects to work on. So that was good. I don't know um, if, if I don't know how much time I'll have for projects uh, this weekend. So we'll have to see. Uh, I'm using my ruler. If you haven't seen me do this before, um, there are two reasons that I use my ruler uh, to build my title. Number one, I'm using that horizontal line right there on the ruler to um, help me line all those stickers up so they are straight because I am not working on a lined paper. If I can use something that has a straight line, that will help me line it up straight. Uh, the other reason I do that is so that I can now take my title and I can decide anywhere it wants to go, right? I can decide, do I want it down here? Do I want it here? I already know I want it up here. Um, but I need to look at something. Kind of figure this out because favorite's going to go on top, right? But this also helps me to make sure that it's centered, right? That looks like it's pretty centered there. And let's see our favorite above that. I'm going to go down a little bit more. Favorite above that. There we go. Okay. Um, dee, 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 dee. So one of the fonts that is on this set, this one that I'm using, this favorite, that is the same font as the Simple Stories alphabet stickers. I did that on purpose because um, I use these stickers a lot. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if we have something that's the same font so it kind of looks like we... You know, they go together. So I did it. All right, now we need black. So for this, I'm going to use my favorite black. 
That's the only ink that I sell on my website. Uh, and that is the Versafine Claire. That's a pigment ink, so it's juicy ink. I talk a lot about juicy inks. Um, pigment inks, I call them juicy. They um, are very opaque and they have really, really, really nice coverage. Um, and that's what's important to me. I don't do mixed media. I When I use ink, I use it for stamping and those are the qualities in the ink that I look for. Opaque, so opaque, really solid, um, and then really good coverage. So I need my stamping block. I know, I think now, I think you guys have kind of almost met my whole family now. Um, over time, my mom jumps on every once in a while on a Saturday. And you guys, I don't ask them to jump on, just so you know, because that might seem kind of weird. I certainly don't ask Nick to jump on. I ask no one to jump on. They just show up, which is very fun. You've met um, now my sister. You've met um, Jack and Sam, our two boys. Um, I think you've even met my dad. Now, my dad is not on these, um, but he's been here before while I've been doing them. All right, so I want to test this. Get out our little testing notebook that I like to test things in. And, oh, nice. Just good, solid coverage. Love it. All right, so here, let's do... Um, I had already used the stamp before, so it had already been primed, but I always just still like to do my test stamp, right? Look at that. Isn't that... See, that's my kind of ink when it's just ah, nice and good. Um, there's nothing wrong with having kind of spotty ink. Some people really like that look. Sometimes you'll see that look more with a um, dye-based ink versus a pigment-based ink. So dye-based inks um, are the distress inks versus the distress oxides. So if you don't know much about inks, and I certainly don't know much about inks, I just know what I like. Um, and the reason, ooh, the reason I like it, um, I know what I like. I have linked in the description box of the video down below, there is a link to a couple of really good articles at scrapbook.com. Um, one explains the difference and shows the difference side by side in distress oxide inks, uh, which is pigment-based ink versus a distress ink, again, which is a dye-based ink. Shows you the difference, talks about the different properties and talks about why you might wanna use one over the other. Uh, I just used a wipe there, if you noticed. Um, brand agnostic, right? Um, there's a better word for that. Uh, what's the better word for that? Um, not favorite, I don't know. Um, all right, there we go. Favorite movie, favorite movies, and then on repeat. Now, if I wanted to, oh gosh, he nicks in the car again. <laughs> dang, dang it. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Um, all right. So what I could do here, I could do a couple of things. Um, I could use different alphabet stickers if I wanted to do on repeat. I could use some really small stamps if I wanted to do on repeat. Um, or I could just write it. And I think for the sake of time, I'm just going to write it. Favorite movies on repeat. Okay, now I know what I need to do. I'm going to come in and I'm going to draw a little separator. Um, like that. And then I will start my list there. Um, favorite chick flicks. Uh, Jackie, we have done favorite chick flicks. Uh, we have done favorite chick flicks. And I know that because... I know exactly what, I have to bring this out because it's just, it's quite amusing, okay? It's quite amusing. I'm just going to grab, these are all of my inserts that I have um, recovered 
but there's one that I have to find because uh, I think it was before then. You can always find, um, oh, it's not here. You can always find um, the list of lists and they are downloadable. Um, I've created PDFs for all of them. The list of our past, um, list of our past lists, topics. But I just, I have to pull this out because it's very, it's quite amusing. You need to hear the story behind it really quick. Um, I just don't remember. Oh, I think it's in this one. Uh, da, 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 da. Some of you may remember this when we did this list. Favorite chick flicks that I had to change the way I did the title because uh, when I wrote the word flick, um, it actually looked like a different word. So use your imagination. I wrote the word flick, F-L-I-C-K, and the L and the I were a little bit close together. I don't know where it is. I'll find it and we'll show. We'll look at it next time. Um, the L and the I were a little bit close together. So you can imagine what the word looked like. I just couldn't get over it. I couldn't get over it. So I had to completely do the way I did the title. But I remember what it looks like. I made a pop. All right. So we have a little bit of time left. Let's start um, on our list. So, da, 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 da. this is funny. Do you guys wanna see my sketch for this list? That's my sketch for this list. So sometimes you don't really have to know. I mean, obviously I have to prepare ahead of time so I know what I'm going to do, right? And I have to have my list down, but, um, you can just have one thing that inspires you. And as long as you remember whatever that one thing is, clearly that word and joy inspired me. When I was sitting down ahead of time and I'm like, oh yes, I know I wanna use the 49 and market spectrum sherbet. So I knew that was going to inspire me, but that enjoy word inspired me. So there you go. I know I thought I might get booted off. Oh, it's so funny, you guys. That video was so funny. That's been a while. That's been a, maybe two years. No, not quite two years, maybe a year and a half ago. All right, so favorite movies on repeat. Now, what I know I'm going to need. Um, I need, oh, duh, washi. Uh, let's look, since we swatched the washi, what do we want to go along the bottom? This is so pretty, but that's too much, right? That's just too much. Um, oh, I know what we need. Okay, uh, we need the black scallop. This is the little um, black dress of washi. And this is one of my new ones. So I think if we just have this go right along the bottom here, like so. Oh, normally I tear washi, but it's cut over there. So I'm just gonna cut it over here. All right, there we go. And then I think what I need to use Love that one. That one is, I could have rolls and rolls and rolls of that one and it would be so happy. Oh, yes. Look at it. Okay, there we go. Oh, I love that. That is just so, I love that washi so much. Just the rainbow, right? Just the rainbow. Probably, you know why I love that so much. Because look, look how similar. Right, well, this you could even use this, although I like that look better because that look is just a little bit more artsy to go with everything else that we're doing. Well, get oogies. There we go, so look at the black. Now the black might seem kind of heavy, but it really isn't because look at, we have the black over here, we have the black here, the black here, and then all the black there. So it just kind of now pulls it all in together. And then that's just, that little scallop is kind of soft, so it helps to kind of soften the fact that it's black. All right, so now favorite movies on repeat. Um, what, 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 what? How many, I think this is a run on list. I'm pretty sure this is also a run on because there's a lot of movies on my list. It is another run on. So, oh, I know what we need. We need our dot again. Don't you think you guys don't, oopsie. What just, what just popped off of there? Oh, here it is. Um, we need our dot again because of all the little dots down there. You know what would be so fun is if I had, well, I do have like eight of these stamp sets, but I wouldn't do that because that would take forever. 
well, it'd just be silly because I'd waste a lot of stamp sets because I can't sell them once I use them. But I don't know, you guys, this might, I may have to not do any more right now because this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, wouldn't it be fun? I mean, I have a lot, I have a lot of ink colors, right? I have a lot of ink colors. Wouldn't it be fun if I, all of my little dots in between, I don't know, that might be too much. It's probably too much. It's probably a little bit of an overkill because I already have that, so we won't do that. But I think we will use our center dot again, our little center one. And did we do a yellow? We know how much I love the yellow. Maybe we do the yellow or, I don't know, maybe cracked pistachio would be fun because it's kind of that color. Let's look. Let's see what cracked pistachio looks like. Um, I will pick the color. I will do one and then I will have to go. Look at cracked pistachio. What do you guys think? Let me, let me get this. Oh, where's the stylus? Oop, well, if I can't find that. Oh, here it is. All right. Oopsie, that's why I didn't put the other one away. Okay, let's get this one back on there. Um, incidentally, and especially you'll see it happen with smaller stamps like this. Once, if your stamp stops sticking to the backer, the little sheet, just um, either get some rubbing alcohol or um, just get a little damp cloth and wipe off that underside, the backside of the stamp that you you know would put like right there. Um, the, Sometimes they'll get lint and things on them, and then that's what makes them not stick. And there's no problem if it's not sticking. It's just sometimes they're easy to lose if that happens. Cracked pistachio. Let's look and let's look at that one. Maybe. Look at though. See, this is a prime example of why um, stamping stylus. Dora, does it show that it's out? Does it show that it's okay? Um, it's not out. So if it's showing back and if it's showing that it's out of stock, uh, five minutes after we're done, it will no longer be out of stock. Um, I just haven't updated. I didn't realize they were out of stock. Um, I know, Terry, I've been trying to use this color, but again, here's a perfect example of why it makes sense to, oh, there we go. Why it makes sense to swatch your inks. Because look at, look at how different it looks, right? Look at how different it looks. I mean, it's pretty close, but. Yeah, I think that'll be good. There is a little box, if it's something sold out, that says email me when available. So click that box and put your email address in. Um, as soon as that product comes back in stock, it automatically emails you. So um, it literally happens as soon as new product comes back in stock. Um, for the most part, if you still, if you see something there, except for the project kits, except for the mini book project kits, if you see something there, I know, Four minutes. If you see, hold on, let me do this. Since we're gonna end real quick here, uh, I'm gonna flip the camera so I'm not talking to, you guys can see me. Um, Nick, every time you started the car, uh, my phone connects to the car. Oh, yeah. any problems with it? Yes, okay, flipping. I didn't know. I know, well, remember that happened before? Can you guys hear me? I know, take the keys away from Nick. I know, start the car. Wait, no, don't. Okay, um, can you guys hear me? <laughs> Because he's not started, the, the car's off. Sorry about that, you guys. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay, you can hear me. Um, good. What was I saying? Oh, I know. I was saying, for the most part, if you see a product that is still there and it says out of stock, for the most part, not 100% across the board, that means that it's coming back in, that I have ordered it and it's coming back in. Once I know I'm not going to order anything anymore or they're sold out, the manufacturer's sold out, that's when I take it off my website. So... Um, but 
I am going to um, end so Nick and I can get out of town. And um, before I do that, though, I'm going to go put the, um, the stamping stylus, add more because they're here. Um, all right, you guys. So real quick, um, a couple of housekeeping. We will not be together uh, on Saturday, April 30th, 2022. Um, but we will be together on May 7th, which is Saturday, May 7th. Um, I think that's the 7th. Anyhow, first Saturday of May, we'll be together all day. Uh, you can come and go. You can stay the whole time. There will be two sessions, a morning and an afternoon. Uh, they're not the same one. It's just that I need an hour break in between, so we have to split it up. And we'll do lots of giveaways and good sales and um, some memory keeping. And we'll do some listing and, you know, like we always do on an all-day thing. So keep that in mind. Uh, giveaway today is for an assortment of products from the Pretty Little Studio Wildflowers collection, which is the collection that I used on the favorite love songs list. So um, to participate in that giveaway, you can uh, leave a comment on the video when it's over. So not in the chat, but in the comment on the video when it's over, telling me one of the things that would be on any of the three lists today. So even if you're not listing with us, uh, one of your favorite movies that you have on repeat, meaning you watch it multiple times, um, favorite love songs or favorite fill in the blank songs, um, or you know you're hungry when. All right, friends, uh, I think that is all that we have. Um, I will see some of you on Monday night for the Celebrate Today mini book uh, class. If you purchase that kit, um, then we have another one in between. We have two more in between when I see you guys again. We have the early summer Traveler's Notebook um, class for the May setup. If you purchase that kit, that will happen in the next two weeks. And you should have information about that already if you purchase that kit. And then we also have the Get Your Happy On class. Uh, and those will all be coming up before we, before I see you guys again here on a Saturday on May 7th. Okay, friends. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out um, with me today. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to get out my fun uh, products and play because that just gives me so much joy. These Saturdays, you guys have no idea, give me so much joy. So um, enjoy the rest of your week. I hope to see you again in two weeks for our all day session. And if not, I hope to see you around soon. Okay, everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and goodbye.